Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Guillermo Gonzalez, and this is my sermon. We're in the book of uh, Psalms 27, verse 14. I want to title this lesson, Wait Patiently for the Lord. We're in the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 14. And it says like this. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. King David was the one who actually uh, wrote this psalm. And in verse 17, he was actually uh, speaking to himself. He was urging himself that he needed to wait patiently for the Lord. Sometimes in life, amen, uh, things could get messy. And uh, we want to fix stuff now. We want our response now. But his words saying that we have to actually wait patiently for the Lord. Now, then it says, be brave and courageous. When we're waiting for the Lord, we have to actually be firm in our hearts and in our mind that we're going to actually wait for uh, God to actually respond, to give you a word, to uh, guide you in the right direction that you actually need. And then it says, after you become brave and courageous, and we repeat themselves, it says, yes, we patiently for the Lord. So after you after you become brave and courageous, King David was still going to be waiting on the Lord. Now, when we, when we look deeply, uh, deeper into this uh, passage, it's, uh, it says also, hope and expect on the Lord. So sometimes we're not actually putting our hope on God. We're putting our hope on our friends, our network. If we want a new job, we try to uh, call our friend, uh, you know, see if they know anybody that's hiring. When we can go to God and God can actually open doors. If God um, has given you a word, expect that it's going to be fulfilled. God's faithful. God's never going to leave you hanging. God's always right there for you. Uh, so, wait patiently on the Lord and have your, and hope and expect on the Lord. Uh, when I was in middle school, I was going to go ahead and um, transition to uh, middle school to high school. So, uh, I, I know I wanted some, some white shoes uh, when, for my school for, you know, brand new year. I told my mom and my mom was like, pray about it now okay so I did pray about it uh, next thing uh, I went to a store and uh, there was a sale going on they had two tables and it was um, different shoes for men and women different sizes so you had to actually be lucky to actually uh, find a pair of shoes so I go searching and I saw a box and it was some white shoes and it was my size so I thank God for providing those shoes. Um, and that's one of my, actually my favorite stories, man. So I actually, I had my hope on God that he actually guided me where to actually find those shoes, man. God is my provider. Um, God is our shepherd, man. We are the sheep. Uh, God is our heavenly father. We are his children. If God gave you a promise, Maybe you have been praying for a, a lost soul. God's going to fulfill his promise if you, if you said that um, he's going to go ahead and bring that, that person back one day. Amen. If he's going to, if you said, hey, he's going to bless you with a, a new job. Have your hopes up. Amen. Expect that he's going gonna to open the door. Go ahead and put your resumes out. If God said, hey, you know what? You're going to be healed. God's the healer. He's a doctor of doctors. God is the mighty God. God of, of, of the uh, impossible, amen. So put your hope on God, amen. Um, wait patiently on the Lord and have your hopes on the Lord. And be expect and expect from the Lord, amen. When you go to serve it, expect from God, amen. Because God wants to do many stuff in your life, amen. Um uh, don't keep on having good courage, man. Be brave, man.
and keep waiting patiently on the Lord. Uh, this is my servant, and uh, thank you very much for hearing.